Welcome back to the channel of Never Stop Foodies. I am Cat the Food Cat and um Sophia, which is the snack cat. And we are going to do a subway review. This has been a long time coming. Um, I have been getting coupons in the mail nonstop. I'm sure all of you have done the same thing. But we are here to try the new items that have been out for a little while. And uh, this is what we're going to do. So we have um, over there at Subway, if you buy the Sidekick or the Roll-Ups or whatever, the Dippers, um, the Footlong Dippers, which are only $4 right now, there are three different kinds. And they give you whatever sauce you want. So I picked... We got one of each kind, and I picked three different sauces. And to be honest, I can't remember what the sauces are. Um, I thought it would say on my receipt, but it does not. So I know one's like a honey mustard. Another one's like a teriyaki aioli or something. And then the other one, I don't remember, like a parmesan, garlic parmesan or something. Look at my shit. She's got her Karomi shirt on. Has nothing to do with Subway, but anyways. <laughs> and then we have the cheesy sauce because um, we've done the review on the foot long pretzel before, the Fit Cat and the Food Cat. And I got the foot long pretzel again. But we are going to get into the um, dippers first. And I'm very scared. She's scared because she doesn't know what I, what I bought. So anyways, they come like this. It's a foot long one that they cut in half. And let's see which one the first one is. Okay, the first one. Okay, this one is the cheese and pepperoni. Cheese and pepperoni. So all it is is the little tortilla with cheese and pepperoni in it. That's more expensive for me. Just cheese, no pepperoni. So, we're going to try this. And I'm going to take a bite first. FYI, I'm not a pepperoni fan. I'm a pepperoni fan. Try it. Um, it's just like a pepperoni pizza. Okay, well, she likes pepperoni pizza. But for some reason, she does not want to try this. And just because I don't like eating pizza that shaped like a burrito. Like she doesn't like pizza shaped like a burrito, even though it's not a, there's no pizza sauce in it. And she likes the cheesy roll-ups from Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why she wouldn't like the cheese and pepperoni roll-up from Subway. But she wouldn't even try it. So, I guess... I guess I'll do the toy video too. No! Try it. Don't take the whole thing. So, at a scale of 1 to 10, I would get a, I'd give it a 5. It's just a tortilla with cheese and pepperoni. What do you give it? I give it like a 5. Okay, and she got a little bite, so. It's a little hot. Oh, that's because they I just got, got done cake. cooking it. I got my thing if it's... Like hot, spicy like, hot? Because I didn't think it was spicy hot, and I don't like spicy. I'm saying like it's hot, but when I eat something hot or I feel thirsty, I get my extra drink. And her, the drink that she's drinking is Prime, which is a sponsor of WWE. In case you guys watch wrestling, that's why we get primed. So, the next one up. It's very good. You should try Prime. Try Prime. Try Prime. And try okay. watching WWE. Yeah. My favorite is Alexa Bliss. Alexa so Bliss is So, this sexy. one. So, you can't really tell when you pull them out. You have to unwrap it to find out. Oh, dude. Okay, 
So this one is the one that I'll probably like a lot. This one is the chicken and cheese. So it's just the little flatbread tortilla with chicken and cheese inside. So let's try this one. Wait, but when you like unwrapped it, it, I did not see any chicken. Oh, you didn't see the chicken? No. Oh. That's chicken right there. Oh no, I'm not eating that. You're not eating it. She'll eat chicken on a plate with white rice, but she won't eat chicken and cheese on the roll up. No. Ooh, more toys for me. Ah. You know she's getting a tiny bites so that she only gets the the tortilla part. Mm -hmm. Um this is the same. I would give it a five because it's just like the um you know the pepperoni one where it's just cheese and chicken rolled up in the um flatbread tortilla now for the picky eaters like the kids that are very picky this should be a selling point for them i give it a three a three you give it a three mind you she didn't even take a bite of the chicken uh. Okay, now I, this one. When I took a bite, I felt the chicken. I'm being fun. Okay, whatever she says. She's a snack cat because she only likes to snack. Snack here, snack there. <laughs> she doesn't like to actually eat food. Okay, so this is the last one. And this is just the cheese one. Yes! 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 You can see the cheese. I give it a five out of ten. I give it a ten. Now, here's a trick. You're supposed to dip in the sauce. So, let's do this. Um, no, I'm not dipping in any sauce. I forgot what this one is. I think it's garlic something. <laughs> garlic. garlic. Garlic Parmesan. No, it's not butter, it's salt. <laughs> so the garlic parmesan, I'm going to dip the pepperoni one in. I'm not eating any of those. That's things. fine. She's not a sauce person. I eat barbecue sauce. That's the only sauce you eat. Yep. So with the sauce, it bumped up that roll up to a seven. And that's, that's definitely the garlic parmesan. Mine. I like it too much. It's my favorite. Food. Okay, now we're gonna do the chicken and one, the chicken and cheese one. And we're gonna dip it in the teriyaki. What teriyaki? So, just like this food, like meat food, called teriyaki, and what is that? Mmm. Jumped it up to a seven as well. And I think the reason why I jumped it up is because the wrap is warm, it's dry, and when you dip it in the sauce, it gives it that wet texture. So now I'm going to try the cheese one. <laughs> Be careful with, with the cheese. The sauce. honey mustard. Eat the whole entire sauce. Please. I don't want any sauce on mine. <laughs> I took a big bite of the other one. Mmm. Very good. Um, if you guys don't know, this one, that one bumps it up to an eight, actually. If you guys don't know, their honey mustard sauce as at Subway is really, really good. Really good. Now, you guys have seen this before. This is the foot-long pretzel. That looks 
delicious. So, um, is it a pretzel, but it's like a foot long? Yeah, it's a foot long, which is the size of a ruler. I think I like them. And um, I like these because they're soft. They're actually from Aunt Auntie Anne's... Um, Auntie Anne's uh, pretzels. So I'm going to take a bite. Want to try a pretzel? I like it. Now I like the salt. They didn't over salt it. It's still soft on the inside, a little harder on the outside, which is fine. I give this a 7 out of 10. I get this like a 10 or 10. And they give you the cheese sauce to dip it in. I'll dip in the cheese sauce. I want to show you guys something pretty. Hold on. So the cheese sauce, um, it's kind of like a generic cheese taste. So it stays 7 out of 10, but when they first brought the pretzel out, they did it with the honey mustard. Out of the park. That jumped the 7 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10. The honey mustard is excellent there. Okay, you guys ready for the next thing? So when I went in to Subway to get the order, so that I, I already knew that the um, that the pretzel was there. I knew that the um, roll-ups were there, or the dippers or whatever. That's what I was going to get was the dippers. But what I didn't know, and I don't know how I didn't know it, because, I mean, other than the fact that I haven't been there in a while, is that Subway does pizza. Did you guys know that? If you guys knew that Subway did pizza, comment in the um, comments below and let me know if you knew, if you've tried it, and what you thought of it. Oh, I know that Subway made cookies. Yeah. <laughs> but not pizza. I knew they made subs because it's Subway. <laughs> so I actually got a pizza from Subway. And, um, basically, they have the cheese pizza. I believe it was like $8.99. Oh, and the footlong pretzel is $3. The pizza box. The dippers are $4 um, here at our location. And the footlong pretzel is $3. They have a footlong churro for $2 and a footlong cookie for $5. But we reviewed all that in a previous video. Now, this um, pizza, the cheese pizza is $8.99. And then it's a, like a, doll, a buck and a half, a dollar fifty or something extra for certain choices of meat. And all the veggies that you want to put on it are free. So for my meat choice um, that I char got charged extra for, I put bacon. And then um, the veggies choices, I put black olives, red onions, and pepperoncinis. So this is what it looks like, which I think it looks very pretty and very colorful. So I know she's not going to try it because she doesn't like vegetables. And, and I get it, because when I was little, I didn't like vegetables either. But when she gets older, she'll learn to like them or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a slice. I want to like um, pizza with only pepperoni. You should, yeah. really like. you should try it if you've never tried it before. Yeah, if you've never tried pepperoni pizza, you sh should try it. Because she didn't like pizza, and then she liked it. But she only likes pepperoni, right? And I don't like pepperoni on my pizza, but I will eat it because I like pizza. And try some breadsticks. They're very good. Um, breadsticks for the bread that shaped like a stick and the bread. The bagel. 
And you can get all of that from Pizza Hut. My favorite place to get pizza. So it's good. The pizza itself, the cheese pizza itself, it was like a pre-made pizza. So for pre-made, it's good. It probably would have been better if, like, they put the cheese on themselves, you know, did the crust, put the cheese on themselves, the sauce on themselves. But, um, yeah, it, it's pretty good. And the box is so, like, small and cute. Like, do you agree? Do you think it's cute? Do you think it's fun? <laughs> I would give it a 6 out of 10. Considering that Subway's not about pizza, and they brought pizza into the mix, and it's not terrible, I give it a 6 out of 10. I want to get the next so the last thing I got. I think this is a hamburger. The last thing that I got is cookies. <laughs> so they have uh, cookies for 99 cents or three cookies for $2.89, I think. So I got two of my favorites, which is the white chocolate macadamians. Mm-hmm. And I got, and they have like five different flavors. I like the chocolate. And I got, I didn't get the chocolate chip. Aww. And I got the raspberry cheesecake one. So I want to try the raspberry cheesecake one, which I've had before. Wait, but Grandma Cat. But I'm, I'm on camera, I'm, so it's okay to eat cookies and not count the calories. Yes. Um, there were three. What is? The other one, then. Two macadamia nut ones. Oh. So you want to try the cheesecake one? Sure. Even though we're trying all the food. Well, I'm trying all the food. I like it. I'm actually a big fan of raspberry. I like it, too. I like cheesecake. I'll give it 8 out of 10. What do you give it? I give it a 10 out of 10. I actually really like it. Remember, she's picky. So, now we're going to do the white chocolate macadamia, <laughs> which I like all types of nuts, macadamians, uh, cashews, pistachios, um, almonds, walnuts. So, whoops. I dropped something. I hope the dog. Nine out of one. ten. Nine out of ten. I give a ten out of ten. I feel like the cookies. So, that's it for our review of Subway. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get off so we can finish eating our lunch. But for you guys. Go ahead and comment below what your favorite item was that we tried. And um, let us know if you like Subway or not. And what your favorite item in Subway is. Period. Because they have breakfast too. We haven't done breakfast over there, but they have breakfast. And then we will see you guys next time. Remember, be hungry for food. Stay hungry for life. Bye, Bye guys.